Hi everyone, my topic is easy onboarding with Polaris. My name is Csaba Kecskeméti. I'm a senior development manager at Zillow Rentals. I'm here to share our user story, how we built a proof of concept with Polaris. The presentation targeting beginner level audience, those who are new to Druid, and interested in building analytics database real quick. So why Polaris? Our motivation was to build a self-serve data visualization for non-technical internal users. We look for something that are able to handle large amount of data to be future-proof, able to use wide variety of data import ingestion methods and has visual report builder integration. Druid with superset would be an obvious choice, but building out Druid infrastructure takes time, requires expertise and comes with significant maintenance cost. In a proof of concept project, you want to focus your efforts to show the value of your solution instead of spending significant time to building infrastructure. We found our answer, which is DB as a service, Polaris. Polaris is a scalable, maintenance-free, hosted Druid database solution with built-in user management and visual reporting interface pivot. All of these covered all our initial needs. So this was a good choice to be start with. The five minutes analytics infrastructure. You saw that right. I'm calling it five minutes analytics infrastructure because you can get from zero to a table with test data and building dashboards with a drag and drop style report builder, literally no more than in five minutes. You can sign up with no commitment, create your account and ready to go. The user interface is really straightforward. First step is to create a table, then choose a data import method like conveniently upload a text file, like a CSV, from your own computer. Adjust the auto-discovered and suggested schema and ingest the data. I have to say though, in case of complex input data with lots of columns and constructed or pre-processed columns, you can spend a lot of time to fine-tune your schema. But for trying out using the auto Schema auto detection is really easy and quick. If you would like to construct new calculated or pre-processed columns at ingestion time, you have a whole set of functions you can use. You can find the documentations for these in the ingestion or Druid SQL documentations. Once the data is ingested, you can create a data cube, which provides the framework for your data exploration. Here you can again construct new dimensions and measures and fine tune the access control. But go with the default values. You can click, quickly create your data cube to be discovered in the building report builder pivot. And that was it. You have an explorable data loaded to hosted Druid cluster in five minutes. We just saw how easy it was to get something up and running to play around with it in Polaris. Nice time to integrate, have our data automatically updated. In our case, we have our data exported in daily dumps in Hive. As for the proof of concept, 
the most straightforward is to use the daily batch ingestion. We are using Airflow scheduler for the batch ingestion. The DAG is really simple. We have a data availability check task where we leverage a proprietary Zillow service. And the second task handles the whole ingestion. This task is implemented as a PySpark job. We're also using Pandas at the ETL step to manipulate the input data. Imply Polaris completely hides the complexity of the underlying infrastructure from the devs and the users. That means we've only concentrate on the analytics and the data import. The ingestion task uses the Polaris API and has the following steps. First, get a new token for authentication via API. Then in the ETS step, load the Parquet data from Hive, pre-process and export it to a CSV temp file with a unique name. Upload the temp file to Polaris via the API. Then the ingestion. Update the ingestion job specification with the unique temp file name call the ingestion API with the job specification, pull the status till complete and delete the temp file. The beauty of the ingestion task is that this is practically a template. We only need to change few parameters to onboard a new data source, like the source of the data, the target table, maybe slight changes in the ETL step. So how to make the ingestion job specification? Here I use a little trick, but first discuss what does this job spe specification describes. At the minimum, it defines the ingestion type, the ingestion mode, the source, the target, the input schema, and the mapping. In case of a data set with large number of columns, constructing the input schema and the mapping is significant manual work. The trick I've used is the following. When we construct the table and its schema on the web UI with our manually updated, uploaded file and we ingest it, that runs the job the same way as it would run the ingestion initiated via the API. Therefore, we can get the job ID from the web UI and then use the jobs API to get the ingestion job details. These details also contains the ingestion job definition and it's seen on the slide. So we can copy and paste the content and use it as a template. As mentioned earlier, we using a unique temp file name for all the uploads. So we need to edit the JSON object and replace the file name with the current temp file name. Of course, this is happens at the batch ingestion time programmatically. With this, we can rely on the web UI schema editor to basically construct the ingestion job definition. Please note that the presented job definition is a test data for demonstration purposes and much more simple than our production table instructions. The second thing I want to mention is not close related to ingestion, but I found it very useful that Polaris support data sketches. If you are not familiar with data sketches, it's a sample representation of a high cardinality data, which can provide estimates on unique counts. It also supports set operations like union and intersection.
on the data sketches. Data sketch is an implementation of data sketches. So why this is important? This allows us to use the Druid rollup and still be able to count Unix on various combinations of the rollups. So whenever you construct your table, think about the columns which contains unique IDs and you would like to have unique count on your report. The code snippet above is an example to create a data sketch column when you build your table schema. So what are our conclusions working with Polaris? Expectations are covered, mean it provides with all those features that we are targeted in the proof of concept. The complexity of the underlying system is hidden. We haven't had to worry about the infrastructure, just the data. Fast onboarding experience with the offered web UI and APIs. APIs are easy to use and set the bar very low to onboard your data. Scaling. We can scale without effort. Maintenance free. We, we don't need to worry about maintenance. It's all came with the service. Overall, this proof of concept was a complete success for us. We fast get some production data into our Polaris instance and uh, able to use and show the value to the leadership. So we continue on this journey and try to onboard more and more data to the system and actually providing value to the internal customers to be able to easily and quickly do reports without technical knowledge. Thank you.